Alright, hi guys. Today I'm here to review this fireplace that I got. It is not a real fireplace per se, but it is an electrical um, fireplace. So it does have the two prong plug in the back, which you just plug into a normal outlet. And then, of course, it has the fire log looking look here. It does come with an instruction manual that we'll, I'll go over in a minute. Here is the remote it comes with. It has a power, a heater, a timer, a flame, an up and down. So, as you can see up here is your main control panel. It is hidden by these little coils here. So you just gently pull that down and of course you have your whole system right here. The whole uh, fireplace uh, heater per se is a beautiful wood. It's super light. I mean, I could lift it with no problems. I would say maybe 20 pounds, 25 pounds. Maybe more, I don't know, my weight might be off, but it doesn't feel heavier than a toddler. Uh, <laughs> of course, you have your heating coils up there, which actually produce the heat. So, well, we're, to flip it on, you're just going to sit here and hit that button right there. You want to make sure that button is on because your power button right here is going to appear. Let's move this a little bit closer so you can see everything. So your little power button light is on there. When using, um, no, did I not put uh, I didn't put the batteries in there, I don't think. Um, it does take two AA batteries, which is why it didn't work. The remote didn't work because I didn't have it in right. So, two AA batteries, as you can see right there. AAA, not AA. Oh my god, AAA. Sorry, I'm more off this morning. So, I'm going to hit the power button. As you can see, it makes a beautiful flame look going on there. It's currently set at 86. To change the flames, all you have to do is hit this little button right here on the thing that says flames, and it darkens it, darkens it, darkens off. So you have really bright. You know what? Let me pause this and put my, my flash off so you can actually see it. So hold on. Again, so this is the brightest element that it has going on right now. The next one is a little bit lighter. I know you can't really tell the difference on the camera, but it does get lighter. So it gives you that low ember look, and of course the lowest, and then of course off. Even though it's off, your heater can still work up here. As you can see, I do have it at 86. Now it is off. So when the temperature gauge is off, that means your whole thing is off. Just simply turn it back on. You can do it without the flame if you want. As for your heat, you're going to, it's the up and down button, you also have an up and down button on there. You can make it go higher. Um, personally, my husband's always complaining about how cold it is in the house when it's only 60 and I'm like, put some clothes on, I don't want to deal with you and he starts getting mad at me and I'm like, okay, whatever you have to say. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find where it says about the heat, the timer, how much the timer is. Um, it does have the timer, of course. Here it is set at zero. You're just going to use your up and down buttons to set the minute. So let's see how high this will go. I think it goes up to 10. So it'll be on for 10 minutes. You can turn, oh, well, I lied. 12 minutes. You can turn it on for 12 minutes and then it'll start emitting the heat very nicely. And then of course, uh, to get your heater, you're gonna have to, if you just have it on like this, it's not gonna produce any kind of heat. So you're gonna have to push the heater button and you can hear it kick on. It goes like that, like like your AC furnace does. That's what this does. Um, it doesn't have any kind of smell or anything like that when you do have it on. Of course, the one thing I did forget to point out is that it is on rollers on the bottom, so it makes it very easy to roll it to, say if you got older people coming in for the holidays that get really cold, take them, put them in, put the heater in front of them, boom, problem solved. You don't have to worry about everybody else. Like it's gonna be here 80 here in Texas on Christmas Day. And my husband's grandparents are old and well they get cold so <laughs> boom, got the heater put in there. As you can see the coils are heating up. It does emit a heat. I can heal feel the heat from over here at the camera. I'm feeling the heat. So it definitely works. You can just put that up like that and boom you have yourself a beautiful fireplace heater. Um, I will post all the specs in the comments, but so far, I really like it, and as for now, I'm going to give it a high five stars, and if anything happens over the next few months, I will come back and update my review.
Alright, hi guys. Today I'm here to review this fireplace that I got. It is not a real fireplace per se, but it is an electrical um, fireplace. So it does have the two prong plug in the back, which you just plug into a normal outlet. And then, of course, it has the fire log looking look here. It does come with an instruction manual that we'll, I'll go over in a minute. Here is the remote it comes with it has a power, a heater, a timer, a flame.